Hello, Harold Zion, and welcome to my weekly devotional. Listening can be hard to do, at least hard to do well. Most of the time, our own biases dictate what we will even bother to listen to, good or bad. When we have a conversation with a person or a group of people, we are often thinking of what we want to say while we are supposedly listening to what someone else is saying. It can be because we don't want to hear what the other person is saying. Maybe we're having a hard time concentrating. Or you just want to be able to get your point of view in before someone else jumps in. I'm just as guilty of this as anyone, at least at times, even though I consider myself a good listener most of the time. To really listen to someone requires having an open mind. It also means only one person speaking at a time. Have you heard of active listening and how to do it? It requires full attention to what the other person is saying and asking questions and responding to what the other person may be saying in a coherent way. You can also respond by paraphrasing what the other person says back to them and seeing if they agree that is what they said. This can be a way to clarify what you heard. This week, I will begin reading I Think You're Wrong, But I'm Listening by Sarah Stewart Holland by S and Beth Silvers. The Senate is doing an online study of the book over the next four weeks. I think in our current culture right now, we really need to listen to others even when we disagree. Maybe that can result in less division in the long run and help us to find ways of common ground. Now, listening to God is a little more difficult than listening to people. Most times you will not hear a voice. If you read 1 Samuel 3, verses 1 through 21, one of the lessons we had yesterday, Samuel kept hearing a voice calling him. Samuel thought it was Eli and would respond to Eli, but Eli would say that it wasn't him. After hearing this call several times because Samuel was young, Eli realized it was God who was calling Samuel, understanding that Samuel did not yet know God. A third time the Lord called, Samuel, and Samuel got up and went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. Then Eli realized that the Lord was calling the boy. So Eli told Samuel, Go and lie down, and if he calls you, say, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. The Lord came and stood there, calling as in the other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel said, Speak, for your servant is listening. It can be hard to know when God is speaking to you or what you are feeling are your own ideas or the ideas of a false God. Knowing Jesus and the behavior of Jesus may be one of the best ways to know God, and we learn this from the Bible. Just be careful. You do not use the words of Jesus and God to fit your own personal agenda. Make sure you are serving God, not yourself or another who has their own best interest in mind. I want to end this with a few Proverbs about listening. From Proverbs twelve fifteen, The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to advice. In Proverbs 18, verse 2, A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. And in Proverbs 18, verse 13, if one gives an answer before he hears, it is his folly and shame. So practice listening. Soon it will become a good habit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help us to learn to listen to each other and to you. And help us to know when it is you that is speaking to us and not something, someone else or someone else's own agenda happening within our heads. We love all that you do and we really want to serve you in any way that we possibly can. And so this week we are going to try to do a better job of listening. In Jesus name, amen.